Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with my dress up darling episode number 10 reaction. All right, the previous episode, um, Marin got her black lobelia cosplay and it was really well done. Um, she completely looked like a different person. Uh, her character that is the black lo that is black lobelia. She looked completely like her, especially with the little tape that she put on her eyes, which planted her eyes and it was really good it, it it she completely looked like a different person not only her but juju as well she looked really good as well in her um shion uh, yeah shion's cosplay and uh, yeah it was it was a really like you know good thing that both of their cosplays are okay now they have to go to uh like you know the, the, do the photo shoots and all that stuff like that's all that's left and then we kind of go to a little flashback where we go back to the day where <laughs> juju fainted and here something happened um shinju that is juju's little sister she and gojo uh they kind of has a conversation where gojo realizes and he asks her if she wanted to do cosplay as well and she's like yeah i want to do um uh what was the name uh oh god i forgot the name uh, uh the guy anyways um you know the, the guy the brother his his character he wants she wanted to cosplay his character I cannot remember his name at all. I'm sure we'll, we'll get to see in this episode. Um, <clears throat> so he's like, yeah, I want to do his uh, cosplay. And uh, but I don't know whether I should do it or not, because Juju always like, you know, kind of thinks more about whether it will look good on him. Like, you know, her or not. That's why she always uh, cosplays character that she has the right body frame for. So she was being a little bit afraid whether his, her sister will like it or not uh but gojo encouraged her and you know helped her out with all that stuff and in the end when she comes with the cosplay her sister is very happy and uh, yeah like the the thing about her sister is uh, about juju is uh the thing that she thinks about her code is that i'm going to do cosplays which my body uh can like you know do like you know i want to do it that faithfully but that's only her code she wouldn't impose that on others especially if it's her sister so yeah she had no problem with it she's like yeah she, she was very happy and you know they had a little selfie as well and everything was really good so yeah let's see what this episode brings i'm guessing we're going to see more of them snapping pictures and stuff so yeah so let's get started this is episode number 10 of my dress up darling so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles in the timer here think it whichever is a preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one, go. Okay. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> yeah. But you also need to take your picture as well. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No need to be afraid. Ooh. She's fully in her character. Look at her. This is one thing that a mind does does really well, you know? Wow. Okay. <laughs> she's all she's fangirling, I think. She's fangirling. <laughs> uh, she's also smiling. <laughs> we have all got struggles. Okay. Okie dokie.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he played a big role. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, she, she doesn't know that. <laughs> That's true, you know. So Makun, okay, yeah, that's his name. I forgot for a second. <laughs> well, because... Hmm. Miscommunication, you know? And that as well. Oh. Well, um <laughs> Okay. Well, this is going in a Wow, she's fully in character. Wow. All right. Damn. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, the bullet. Oh. Wow, look at that shot. Oof. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> well, obviously. Yeah. There you go, that's, that's like her thing. Yeah, that's her thing. There you go. But you know what, I feel like she should do it, you know? The cosplays that she wants to do. Like, I guess that's her code, but still, like... Ah... Uh, I feel like she should do. Like, this is like a thing that is like a hobby, like, you should do what you like, so... <laughs> yeah... <laughs> yeah, this is the first time you know, she was involved in this. <laughs> oh, God. Gojo is there. <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh! 
No. <laughs> Guys makeup. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uber cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could relate to that. No, not that, but... Ah. Uh, oh no. She's misunderstood. Oh. <laughs> well. She's in shock now. <laughs> oh no oh no the black the darkening is happening <laughs> well she became black lobelia after this and stars tries to destroy the world what the opening is starting now I will probably cut this part out because the opening and ending always trigger the copyright bots. You know, however blurred it is, they somehow get it. So I'm going to completely cut out this portion. The opening and the ending. It'll stay on, but I'll cut it out from the video. Okay, so Black Lobelia is over. What now? The next one, I think? Maybe? This is episode 10, so two more episodes. Maybe we'll get it, maybe not. Maybe next season. Because the next one I'm really looking forward to. You know, the one with the dark skin tone and uh, the, like, you know, the little fangs? That girl. I'm going to sh show it. This one. I'm looking forward to this one. Okay. Probably we won't get it this season, next season most. Yo, there it is. There's the dress. There's the dress. Huh. Okay, we're gonna get it. Okay. Oh boy, this cosplay will be amazing. Just look at the... Veronica. Wow, her hair is really well done. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Goji won't survive making this. Yeah, retouch digitally. Oh! Are they going to do it digitally? Yeah, the design is very simplistic. Wait, she, so he has already made the dress. He's finished making it. We can see it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh, she went to the beach or something like that. Wow, the dedication.
Oh, she went to the... Okay. I thought maybe she went to the beach or something. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and please lock the door. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, please lock the door, otherwise I'm f I feel like something like that is going to happen. Now she's going to trip and fall and the whole door is going to crash. Okay, that didn't happen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Smells like me? What? <laughs> oh, those are the foundation, okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh no. What? Wallpaper. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Seat. All right. Wait, what? Fake nails. Those are nails? Okay. How do you put those in? Ah! <laughs> Gozo acquired a new fetish. The Yaiba one, you know? All right. Um, here we go again. <coughs> Gojo is enlightened now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Okay, maybe some cosplay goods. Hmm. Men's. Oh, okay. Yeah, for him today. For you. Yeah. This is good, you know? I was, I was thinking maybe he'll get some clothes later on by being influenced by uh, Kitagawa, but here we go. That is...
Okay, here we go again. Um, they should have chose a different shirt. What are these designs? No, no, oh my god. What? She has no idea what to buy for him. <laughs> but she likes it, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's loving. A different design, I feel like. This, this is a bit too much for him. No, not that. Oh my, what are these designs? <laughs> oh my god. She's... She's speaking. <laughs> like it. I don't know. I, I don't like these designs. I'm sorry. Maybe it's just me. This is good. You know, this, this dress is really good. Okay, so, so they bought the clothing, I'm guessing? No, or maybe not. Oh no, they're going to browse, alright. <laughs> wow. Okay, they're having a nice time. Should be a center guy. <laughs> alright. What's happening? What? Oh, I, f I feel like sh he's embarrassed. Probably embarrassed. He's embarrassed. Yeah, he's embarrassed. Uh, too much skin, you know? In making this more dramatic, yeah, it's it's risky. <laughs> she really got kind of scared for a moment there. She's like, "Why is he saying that?" Now she'll laugh. She's probably going to laugh now, <laughs> or get embarrassed. Ah, oh, she's vocal about that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. And I'm sure she'll snap some pictures and send it to him. I'm sure of it. Oh. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> well. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, I thought. I was just saying this. <laughs> I, I think she will. 
Okay, again, this part will be cut off. The copyright bots are really going at it, so yeah, I'll have to cut this video out. This part of the video. Okay, well. Oh, so this episode. Um. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was just saying when when the opening was happening, I was just saying like, okay, I would really love it if they actually do the next one. Um, the one with the uh, Veronica's cosplay th that they were showing continuously in the opening. I thought maybe they're going to do it in the next season because we don't have much time now. But they kind of sh did it in this episode. So I'm guessing this cosplay would be a minor one, you know? Like, she'll probably just wear it, snap some fix pictures and just post it on the social media. That's just it. That's what she'll do. Nothing much. Like, the whole, how big the, the whole Shizukutan and uh, Black Lobelia's cosplay was, they like took like nine episodes collectively. Uh, those two cosplays, but this will probably like one or two episodes, something like that, I'm guessing. Which is kind of a shame because I this was a cosplay that I was really looking forward to. Um, you know, with the like because this 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 cosplay looks really cool in my opinion. Like, okay, that's the end. This this cosplay is I feel like this is like this has the maximum cool factor. The you know the the. <clears throat> The dress, the personality of the character is like that type of a wild character, you know, uh, with the little fangs, you know, like the darkened skin tone with the white uh, eyelash, eyebrows, white hair, uh, white short hair uh, with the white dress. This, this cosplay, I feel like this cosplay is one of the best cosplays out of all the cosplays that are being shown in the opening. Uh, the first one comes, the first cosplay, the best cosplay is this one. After that is uh, Lobelia's cosplay. That's like another one of the coolest cosplay. After that, I'll probably put the next cosplay that we're probably going to get, which is the little devil one, you know, the, the one with the little wings and stuff, that cosplay. And the final one is Shizukutan's cosplay, because I don't know, like personally, in my personal opinion, I'm not such a big fan of the cosplay because it like, I don't know why, but that cosplay really looks kind of disproportionate. I don't know why. I probably like you know like it's it's kind of weird the cosplay, uh, Shizukutan's cosplay. So I, I I'm not a, much a big fan of that one. I'm a huge fan of this one. However, this one, uh, this Veronica's cosplay. This is like the best one. So it's a shame. I'm guessing this they'll crop they'll probably like end this in one or two episodes, which is kind of a shame because I really look was wanting to look. Uh, I really wanted to like like not wanted. Sorry, I really look forward to this one. But uh, nothing you can do about it, I guess. Uh, or maybe, who knows? We'll see. You know, we still have how many? Two more episodes left? Yeah, this is 10th, 11th, and 12th. So maybe the next episode will be full of Veronica's cosplay. We'll see. But you know what? One thing here, like, you know, here's the thing. Uh, all the cosplays that we've been seeing had, like, a big uh, preparation period. Like, two or three episodes they were like all preparing for it and like in the fourth episodes they bring make the cosplay and in the fifth episode they kind of cosplay in it that's how it has it has always went while this episode like you know this veronica's cosplay has no preparation period she has already made it so we're, we're getting the cosplay and maybe in the next episode we're going to see her wearing it so you know like it's kind of the same the only the preparation period is not here at all I guess it's kind of the same so yeah and as he said like this this cosplay is very simplistic it's just two like you know little like you know like the little pant and the little uh you know uh dress that's it nothing else so there's not much stuff to do here unlike uh black lobelia's cosplay and shizgutan's cosplay which has like immense amount of fabric this is one of the most easiest ones. So that's why he probably just completed it. Just like that. He didn't have to like, you know, struggle too much. <clears throat> but all right. So yeah, this episode. Okay. This episode has so many beautiful shots in it. My God, all these shots that we were seeing here, Black Lobelia, uh, Juju's, you know, cosplay is shot. All of them were just so good. You know, like it's like, especially Black Lobelia's shots. They were amazing. And here we like you know start the episode with um 
black labellia and neon no sorry xion sorry neon is black lobelia xion and black lobelia are both of them you know like going into like you know kind of doing some poses and like uh they said like the, the best pose would be the one where uh you know black lobelia kind of kind of touches her chin uh xion's chin and looks at her while xion is also looking at her that that scene and <coughs> itakawa just goes into it just goes in character completely for a moment there and seeing her enthusiasm and her you know shift in character shion was really surprised and that was like one of the best shots that they have with they had taken because she was really surprised there she was in full in character and and then a second after <laughs> mine starts fan fangirling she's like oh i cannot you know i'm i'm just smiling i'm so happy <laughs> And uh, yeah, and they were like, you know, snapping pictures and stuff. And then we see Juju talking with Gojo a little bit. And she was like, oh, my sister, you know, like, I'm very happy that she did this. And she probably did not pay you properly, you know, because she doesn't know what to pay. And uh, there's a lot of other things as well. Other, like, you know, cost that is required, other expenses. So I'm going to pay you back for it. <clears throat> and obviously gojo could not tell her because he she herself said like i don't have any like you know money i cannot like you know, I'm, I'm 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 still a child apparent uh, like you know according to my age <laughs> so i cannot go do part time i i have no way to earn money so i cannot help you in that department that much probably a little bit of pocket money i can give you so gojo wasn't able to actually ask her for all of that so she he did it all on his own so Juju was like, yeah, I'm going to pay you for it. Don't worry. And Okay, so where is it? And now here's the thing. I feel like, like she's probably like getting a, having a little crush on him or something. I don't know. Like she kind of blushing and all. So it'll probably be like that. That type of a uh, one sided feeling like, you know, uh, Juju will have probably from here onwards and it'll probably stay that way. Because she doesn't seem like a person who would, like, you know, try to, uh, you know, compete for his affections. She doesn't look like that type of a person. I'm sure she realizes that mine also likes him. So she'd probably keep it within her or, like, you know, wouldn't express it. Like, Juju looks like that type of a character. So I don't think they'll be, like, uh, competing for his affection, you know, like mini arc or something like that. I doubt that'll happen. It'll probably be within her for year onwards throughout the whole scene, like you know, anime or something like that. We'll see. But yeah, okay. So <clears throat> then we get to see a few of Marin's shots, cosplay shots, uh, and those were really well done. You know, especially the one where he was, she was holding her cap, and there was like the the the, the background light coming out, and she was in full in char in her character, and. It was really well snapped the pictures now here and then they go back to their own like you know stuff and we can see juju and uh, shinju kind of uh, you know like going through the pictures at, at at their houses here a conversation happens which is the thing that i was actually talking about the previous episode um Juju, she says herself here that she likes to do the cosplays of characters that she has the uh, you know body frame to cosplay. Like she wouldn't do a very tall person's cosplay. She wouldn't do that. It's like you know, it's not that she like you know, it's not that she would forbid others from doing it, but it's just a code that she has for herself. She wouldn't do it, but she wouldn't mind if someone else does it. It's just her code. So she says, like, it's not that, you know, like, it's not that I don't think that we, I cannot do that cosplay or, you know, like, it, it's just that I don't want to. I want to, be ex and want to be extremely faithful to the character and cosplay it. Now, here's the thing. I, I know, I realize that. Like, that's like her own thing, her own stuff but after saying that line she's saying like oh i would have but i would have loved to do it 
like this thing like i feel like since she says these lines later on she really wants to do it but there's this weird thing within her which somehow forbids her from trying that out like if she was she had like no if she, if she said something like yeah this is my quote i wouldn't do a character that i won't be able to do i will only do cosplay of the characters who are at my body size you know which i will be able to pull off that's my quote and i don't regret it that's like my thing you know if she said it like this i would be like fine you go ahead but after that she says that but i want to do it so that means that she she really wants to do it but there's this weird thing within her which forbids her from doing it so i don't know what this thing is about like there's this weird i don't know like things that thing that is forbidding her from doing it but she wants to do it so basically she wants to do the cosplay but she's not because of this code within her so my opinion would be that i think she should do it i don't know if this is going to change in the future maybe later on she'll realize and she'll come to terms with it and she will do the cosplays of characters that she like you know her her body size and her, her body frame wouldn't be able to pull off but she would do it uh like, you know regardless because she wants to do it and she loves that character hopefully she does that in the future because i don't know i feel like she sh this this thing within her you know this this weird rule that she has made within her that yeah i will only make cosplays of the characters that i am physically able to this thing is not like you know like uh, what can i say like like even if even though she has this thing within her she still wants to do the characters wants to cosplay those characters and i feel like she should do it ah uh, that's just my opinion you know i i feel like maybe in the future she would realize that and she herself would be like yeah like screw the rules that i've made within myself i want to do this cosplay and i will do it uh, even if the character in the cosplay is like a six foot character i am going to do it i don't care maybe in the future she'll be like that and yeah hopefully i don't know i don't know how, where this is going to go but this is just how i saw that whole scene because she it seems she wants to do it but she's still she's not doing it so i don't know like maybe i'm looking too much into it or something but yeah like 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 maybe she'll become like shinju in the future like shinju is like yeah like you know even though <clears throat> i might not be able to pull it off i am going to cosplay it maybe she'll become like that in the future we'll see um okay anyways so that was that and then we see uh marin and gojo speaking in the phone and they were you not know, talking about how like you know they were like kind of going through the pictures and stuff and <clears throat> okay now here <laughs> and she's watching the, the, the you know the anime and she like throughout the conversation a, a, a time comes where they start talking about um shinju's whole thing and Godo says that oh um i brought her to my house and i helped her out <laughs> and oh boy marin is like what like you know all alone and she's like pouting <laughs> the anime the anime it was showing like you know the the, the soul gem or whatever it's called it was like you know kind of darkening and wow that, that was kind of funny you know and she started pouting and everything <laughs> oh no okay that was the first part of this episode okay now the next part starts and we can already see gojo has made the cosplay he has completed the third cosplay it's nothing much it's just the pant the little thing you know that covers your chest the little um what do you call it neck piece or neck collar i don't know what you call it that thing these are the three small things and i feel like this this would have was very easy to do you know comparing it to shizukutan and um neon uh black lobelia's cosplay so they i guess they did not show the preparation phase if, as as you call it like you know like these few episodes we've been having for every cosplay there was like a preparation phase where they go shopping this that do all of those stuff 
and then we get the cosplay but that was completely skipped i feel like and i guess this cosplay probably didn't need any preparation phase now as i said this cosplay i'm really looking forward to because the character looks really cool um her like you know she's like white hair white uh, you know eyebrows white eyelashes um bangs throughout her mouth uh the white dress that she's wearing dark skin tone and she looks like that type of a tomboy um what do you call it like wild type of character and this is my most favorite cosplay that i was really looking forward to from the beginning of this season as soon as i saw it in the opening and we're going to get it hopefully i i really hope they actually show marin wearing that cosplay in the next episode i really hope they do that otherwise i'll be disappointed heavily disappointed <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure they're, they're going to do it because the main like you know thing of this show is a uh, mind cosplaying so if they don't show it don't show mind cosplaying it that will completely defeat the purpose of this anime but anyways um yeah here we see um uh, what's her name her name uh Marin talking about veronica that is the character and she talks about uh you know this this character she she's really excited to do it because of she kind of gives her a little I don't I think like backstory or something uh she's like in prison or something yeah and I wonder what's like the the actual story of this game I think this is like in a game yeah so and she talks about <laughs> you know the underboob and everything like my god and goes just like what the hell is this girl talking about Oh boy. Now Gojo asks a question here. He's like, okay, so what should we do about the skin tone? And at first they thought about digitally doing it. Then the next uh, scene we see uh, Kitagawa completely tanned. And for, for a moment there I thought maybe she went to the beach or something like, you know, to get tanned. And then I thought maybe the tanning salon. So I thought like that's what she did. And like, you know, that uh, if she really did that, that would be like dedication. Like my God. But she actually used the foundation and I'm like, okay, like that's another thing. Like you, you can basically do this with makeup. Like no need to <laughs> actually, you know, go to the beach or something to tan your skin. So <clears throat> yeah, she comes in and she like goes to the, oh my God. And then there's this, this fan service scene. Okay. <laughs> As always. And I feel like Itagawa is getting like I'm kind of understanding the whole thing like up until now I feel like Marin didn't even realize that Gojo gets actually embarrassed looking at her in these type of revealing like you know clothing and everything whenever she shows more skin I feel like she never realized that but for a few episodes she's actually understanding it like you know she's understanding that yeah Gojo is getting embarrassed and this episode kind of shows that in a big way because when she's in the bathroom you know like he says like okay where is it okay he he keeps the clothings outside the bathroom and <laughs> she's like she's like you she's like you won't pee would you and gojo gets embarrassed <laughs> and she's like oh if this was like a manga or a eroge you know the, the main protagonist would definitely would want to pee and you know what i was thinking maybe he was she was somehow going to trip here you know and the whole door would come crashing down and my god a scene would like that would happen but nothing like that happened so i guess that really happens in a manga that that type of a manga like this is real life so it wouldn't be like that <laughs> <laughs> funny thing in a in an anime they're kind of referencing how the different tropes are in different animes and manga she ba she's basically calling out the tropes you know like how you know those those moments when the main protagonist gets into those type of compromising situation with the main heroines and she's basically calling that out <laughs> oh lord Okay, so now she comes out and she brings out the foundation and she's like, you know, brings out the chain and everything that she bought. And she's like, all right. Um, oh, and she also brings out that little 
that, that background thing where she sticks it in the wall and it's like a prison wall she says like this we can do anything like you know here we can do the photo shoot out here she brought the sharp teeth but she wasn't able to get the front ones so she's like oh that's a shame but gojo made those from nails fake nails yeah uh i wonder how he like he made those i, I wonder how she stuck it in like how did she stick it in like i don't know how she did that but somehow she put those teeth in and it looked really good you know the, the shark teeth kitagawa shark teeth kit, kitagawa looks really good like i feel like this is like another character um what do you call it uh like character thing like you know character trait that has really like, you know, that has kind of popped out quite a few uh day like not days sorry quite a few years ago and this is uh, one of the newer character traits that is the shark teeth character trait like previously we had like we have always had those uh you know one one fang that pops out like you know what do you call them yaiba you know that yaiba character trait we have always had that you know wherever there's like a character especially sundere characters who are like opening their mouth and there's like one little fang coming out i think that's like one of those character traits that has been circulating for quite a few years and it was like a big thing because it kind of looked made the characters look cute but then i feel like like with re-zero and everything you know with with the, the girl i forgot her name the the blonde haired maid girl um she and her you know shark teeth like and a lot of other animes also started having like shark teeth anime girls and that really started popping out up and shark teeth is like one of the most popular character tri uh, traits nowadays like and you can't lie like it, it, it really does look cute you know like the, the shark teeth with with the different characters it looks good <laughs> so yeah and kitagawa looks amazing with the shark teeth and and here we go again kitagawa just <laughs> lifts her clothes up and just started uh, starts adding the foundation and again she is thinking gojo is like just embarrassed like getting a heat stroke here and she's like wait what's happening are you are you sick what's happening to you are you getting a heat stroke should you drink some water she doesn't understand <laughs> and then she trips on her chains and just falls bashes her head and her head there's like a little swelling so she cannot wear the wig unfortunate all right the next thing you she and marine and gojo goes to the clothing um you know like buy some clothes and i was wondering if maybe in the future gojo's going to buy, buy some clothes and wear them and here we go he is here and I, I kind of real I, I kind of knew that maybe in the future mine herself will take him there and here it, we are in this episode mine takes her to a clothing store and she's like yeah let's buy you some clothes and okay now i don't know why but all the clothing designs that mine got for her i did not like at all maybe it's just me maybe that type of design i'm not really a big fan of but all those designs that mine was like you know bringing for gojo i feel like those looked horrible it was extremely i don't know like it was extremely flashy now again as i said fashion uh, like you know fashion is subjective to everyone some people might like that type of dresses and everything but for me i feel like that was very not a, like you know not good looking at all at least on gojo so um those designs you know those flashy design uh clothings were not at all for him but funny thing here is <laughs> mine was having an, a hell of a time she was like oh he looks good in everything oh i i, I really love him <laughs> i love him <laughs> i love him so much <laughs> oh my god that was that was cute ah and then they like you know kind of browse again for a few more moments they go to different places uh i feel like the the dress that um, uh, gojo was wearing later on you know with the hat and the little jacket that was really cool looking you know uh, there was like a little chain and everything and that was really good but all the other sh shirts that she was he was wearing with those wacky designs on front in front no 
I did not like any one of them. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my fashion sense. I don't know. I prefer more simplistic clothings, you know, not with those type of flashy designs in front. Like, nah. <clears throat> okay. Um. Now they were looking. Like, they're having a great time. They were eating crepes and everything, like having ramen, ramen and crepes. Oh boy. And <laughs> mine was buying stuff, and it was really good. And they start coming back, and here we go. Gojo drops a bomb here. He's like, um, sorry, Kitagawa, I cannot be with you in this cosplay. I'm sorry about that. You might have to do it on your own. I realized why he was saying this because it showed a lot of skin, but unfortunately, <laughs> Marin got the shock of her life here. She, she's like, wait, what? Why? You know, is something the matter? Something wrong? And for a moment, she was really getting going to get into depression mode. And she was really shocked. And then Gojo says like, well, this, this cosplay, this shows a little bit too much of the skin. So I feel like, you know, like you should do it on your own. <laughs> Kitagawa just starts laughing and embarrassed. Just starts beating him, pounding on him. <laughs> and she's like, and then she starts teasing him. She's like, oh, you're, you know, like, you're, you're embarrassed, you little perf. And she's like, okay. Uh, next time I'll, I'll, I'll put more, you know, more emphasis on the character that I'll choose. And then they, they, they decide that, okay, like, you know, I'll do it on my own, you know, and yeah, you know, in, in my room, something like that. And I was just saying that, yeah, she said that she's going to do it in her room. She didn't say she couldn't snap some pictures and send it to him. And that's what she brings up later on. She's like, like, should I snap some pictures and send it to you? <laughs> and Gojo is just getting embarrassed. I do wonder if she'll do that. <laughs> like, like what? She, she already is, like, you know, snapped pictures of a swimsuit or whatever and just sends it to Gojo. So why not this one? <laughs> but yeah, I, I think she won't do it. Like, it's just, she was just teasing him. But I, I, you know what, I would really like to see her actually wearing it, you know, like, like just a snap of, like, you know, snap, snapping the picture, I don't know. We'll see, next episode, I'm, I'm sure they're going to, we're going to see what she does. Because this, this is one of my most anticipated cosplays that I was waiting from Kitagawa. And if it actually is just like, oh, she's wearing it and she's, she snaps some pictures and that's just it, I'll be a little bit disappointed, but we'll see. So... Yeah, now I do wonder, there's like still another cosplay left, so are they going to try to do it in these two episodes? Like, that would be kind of, I don't know, like, like three episodes for two cosplays, that's kind of insane, isn't it? Like, that's going to happen very, like, all these episodes, like, these ten episodes were solely based, like, not for two of the cosplays, but now there's like two cosplays still left, and we have three episodes. So, it would be kind of rushed, wouldn't it? I don't know. Uh, let's wait for it let's wait for the next episode so but yeah this was a fantastic episode loved it and oh boy re mine is kind of realizing what like you know gojo is actually thinking she's realizing that yeah he's getting embarrassed and she's having really fun with that she's like yep let's tease him even more <laughs> and uh, yeah everything's good so that's it thanks for watching this was my reaction to my dress up darling episode number so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that is it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my dress up darling till then goodbye and have a nice day